pretty much today we are going to the Leishua Gateway and we're going to go to get together glass. Pretty much if you're out here and you just want like a day trip, this is the kind of stuff you'll go and do. So this is what we're trying to do today. The best part about the Laleshua is I heard it has the, they have a kids activity and a kids play. They have a pool. They just have like a nice place to just lounge around, you know, even like a meditation space or just a free space. So, and then Kitagela glass is just glass that they have like carved by fire and you just get to see all the different creative stuff that they've built. So come along, let's go. Okay, the good thing is this place is just walking distance from where we're staying. So it comes in handy. You can enjoy the scenery, take your time. Watch the cows graze. Yes, yes. And I enjoy it. Because when you walk in, because we're right here pretty much by the game where the wild animals are at, and you can see the skyline for the, you can see the Nairobi skyline as well. So we'll be there in no time. Okay, hey guys, we have just made it to Kitengela Glass. 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 I'm gonna say house. Glass. So they have a lot of um, glass structures around to look at, and just a lot of cool things that they make by hand out here. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at some of these things and possibly see how some of them is actually made today, if if we can. So um, yeah, you guys come along with us. We made it in, We made it to Kitengela Glass. I feel like we barely walked. Like it was what, like less than fifteen minutes. Mm -hmm. But it's a lot of knickknacks, you know. And I like to see the creativity that they put behind all of this. So let's see it. guys as we were walking around looking at all the different glasses that are you know converted or actually made from scratch I found a real cool one look at this one this is actually a beer bottle that they heated up and flattened pretty cool look at that <laughs> it's real cool so they have a lot of unique stuff in here to see There's another one And these are the owners of Kitengela Glass. Sadly, they've passed, but they're, they're the ones who created all of this. Unfortunately, guys, we was not able to see the processes, the process that they used to make the sculptures because they only do those on specific days. And um, today is not the day that they do it. But at least we were still able to come and see these beautiful sculptures that they, that they invested a lot of time in to make. So yeah, so it's an actually an upstairs area with a little bit more things up there. So we're going to head up there and see what else they have up there. Come along. I just 
Ooh, I don't know if this one is for me. <laughs> 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 it was just there. <laughs> okay, guys, we haven't made it to the top, up the stairs. Like I was saying, it's a lot of beautiful artwork that you can also see up here. And you will also have a nice viewpoint, which I will show you guys right about now. It says metal workshop, but here is where they come and do the classes for molding the glass and just all of that over here. So if we would have came on a, on a better day, we would have been able to experience it. Mm -hmm. But pretty cool. See, I guess I'm like, where are the tools exactly? I guess is this like one of the tools? <laughs> Golly, I'm trying to break something. <laughs> <That's key. laughs> But it's cool that's where the classes are. It would've been cool to come on a day we could've actually done something. All right, guys, this is the um, way to the bridge down here. So we're gonna go ahead and down there and see what it's looking like down there. You see the river? The river. Yeah, mm -hmm. We're gonna go see the river. We wanna see a crocodile and a hippo. That would be pretty cool. A crocodile or a hippo or something like that. Boy, here, you're gonna have to get it because I can't see. He's like, what y'all looking at? <laughs> Can I eat the Oh, he's coming way? closer. No, I'm dead. It looks like a drop-off. Is it like a drop-off? Uh, I don't know. I can't tell. Oh, shit, I'm not going across that bridge. <laughs> <laughs> this is giving me Columbia vibes right here. Ain't it? Mm -hmm. That bridge is rough. Okay. We're on the... Kitengela bridge wall. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's shaky. It looks rough. <laughs> <laughs> Dre gave up on it. Mm -hmm. But it's not bad. Just, I guess you just like, just try to enjoy the environment, you know? Mm -hmm. From what I've seen, I guess. The way I look at things is I saw other people crossing and they didn't die. Mm -hmm. so, and there were a lot. <laughs> we're not that many, so we won't die. All right, my people. That is, that's right there is the end of the glass house. Um, say it again for me. Kitengela glass. Kitengela glass? Okay. So, yeah. So, that's the end of that. Um, it was a pretty cool facility. Um, it does. It, they do charge. Uh, well, at least they charge me. Um. 200 shillings for the entry, which is fine. But um, they also have a long bridge over there, which you guys seen, that you can walk across. Um, sorry to disappoint, you know. Your boy tried to walk across that bridge, bridge. But I am a big guy, and as soon as I stepped one foot on that bridge, that bridge went like, woof, woof. I said, you know what? Uh, we're not going to play these Final Destination games today with me. So, yeah, so I went on ahead and sat back with the baby because she need me. You know, both parents can't take them kind of risk. You know, somebody, just in case, you never know, God forbid, but somebody has to be on stable grounds. But, uh, yeah, so right now we're actually going to go ahead to the Leshwa. The Leshwa. Leshwa. Le Leshwa. Le Leshwa. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we're going to head over there, and you'll see it in the next video. Click the subscribe button and uh, follow us along our journey. Holla. Man, look at this bridge. How long this bridge is, and it's extremely shaky. Ain't no way I'm walking across. Oh no. Mm -mm. Not me. I don't mind walking across bridges, but this one ain't for me. No, sir. Pretty sure it's a beautiful view, but mm -mm. I have to. I have to wait till I see it on the video, cause uh, I ain't walking across this one. 